We are hearing continued news about pandemic restrictions easing, and that involves love back in the air for many single people. When it comes to online dating, though, Cupid's arrow could be about to take a backseat to the vaccination needle. Dating apps have partnered with the British government to allow users to display badges on their profile to show they've had the jab. Tessa Arcilia is on the story in London this morning. Tell me how this works, Tessa. Good morning, Heather. Well, that's exactly what it will be. It's adding another feature, another criteria, essentially, for uh, whether you would, a person using an app, would actually swipe right or go on a potential date or like that person. It is deciding, you know, whether they want to, if that person, based on whether that person has had the COVID-19 vaccine or not. And how would they know there will be a profile display badge? So anyone would have that choice to put it on their profile photo to indicate whether they had gotten their COVID-19 vaccination. Now, Heather, this is going to be based on trust, though. That is a caveat because there's just no way of actually verifying uh, whether those people who said that they did actually had gotten the jab. So there are these apps, Tinder, Match, Hinge, Bumble, Bedu, Plenty of Fish, Our Time, and Muzz Match. There's a lot out there that have uh, joined this scheme in partnership with the UK government. So what is happening is these apps will also incentivize uh, people to take part and choose to actually indicate whether they've gotten the vaccine or not by giving them free credit or access to premium features that normally would have to be paid or even boost their profile of views and likes. Now, this is uh, this was described by the vaccines minister here in the UK as a very welcome move, as an incredible asset, he said, to the UK vaccination program. Now, the UK has been doing really well so far. And very soon, the under 30s will be starting to get offered those vaccines. So I think that's what the government wants to do is encourage people uh, to get their shots. Now, there was a recent YouGov survey asking whether or not this would actually um, get people to uh, choose to go on a date or not. The recent survey they had of 5,000 people, Heather, is that only 28 percent actually uh, said that they will not go on a date uh, with someone who is unvaccinated. So apparently right now that is not so much of a deal breaker. But the choice is there uh, of whether a person would want to go on a date with someone who is not vaccinated. Pretty interesting. I mean, we, this is the first time we're talking about it, Tessa, and it's in the UK government. I didn't even realize the US has a similar program, <laughs> launched it last month. So obviously governments are hoping this could have a big impact on vaccine hesitancy within a certain age group, social group. Indeed. I mean, I think they're, they're also uh, jumping on the, the idea that this is going to be a, the summer of love, that a lot of young people are going to be going back to these dating apps when economies open. So they're trying to use this to get that, um, to get that um, more people encouraged by their social group, their peers, to get vaccinated. So indeed, the, because the rate here in the UK is that at least 13 percent of people aged 16 to 29, uh, there's that vaccine hesitancy. Compare that, Heather, with 1 percent for older people. So it is much higher in proportion uh, to to older age groups. I think this is really what they want to do, that the data that exists now on hesitancy will not come to pass and hoping that these dating apps will do the job and help them at it. Heather. Okay. Tessa, thanks so much.